Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we're going to be doing things with planets in the Universe Sandbox. Wow, I am really good at coming up with these intros now. I've gotten 500% better than before. And what are we going to do? That is a great uh, question. I'm going to actually quickly pull up the user's suggestion, so just give me a single moment. Okay, so I have found our first suggestion, but before we start, let me just remind you guys something of uh, subscribers or non-subscribers, if you decide to subscribe, make sure to turn on that little notifications button, because more and more of my new subs are coming in from tablets and stuff, and you guys are not getting notifications, and that's not a good thing for me, and if you enjoy these videos, it's a bad thing for you too, so make sure to turn on those notifications. So that both of us don't get screwed over by the giant evil machine that is YouTube right now. Darn trending videos being suggested above your subscriptions. Gosh, YouTube, what are you doing with your life? So actually, let's begin, and our first suggestion is a hundred Earths at once. Now I have actually done 70 Earths at once, but a hundred is going to be a different story, so... Oh man, this is going to take a while to place. And... Okay, that is at least very close to 100. Of course, I couldn't get it perfectly or it would take in a long time. I just did the counted to 10 and then restarted that 10 times. But I may have clicked at least once more than I was supposed to. So... Yeah, we're gonna call this around 100 Earths. And let's see the collision. Now, my computer is going to start dying any moment now. See, this is this is why someone needs to uh, mail me uh, the Core i7 uh, 6700K processor. I think that would be enough to uh, calculate all of the things going on right now. All eight cores. Oh, so we have the first few collisions and a lot of debris. Um, we have some very large earths growing. As they consume more and more earths, they grow bigger and bigger, and that causes them to have more gravity, which means more earths being eaten. And some are flying away, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly mass select everything, and we're going to do, boop, and we're going to do zero velocity, so now they are all not moving at all and they'll be pulled back to each other again. And this earth right here is getting pretty large. We have seven earths pretty much on this one. The one out here is at nine. Over here we have two, three, nine. Nothing has gotten over ten though. And we are actually getting down to the last few Earths. Most of them have actually collided with the bigger ones. But once again, we're just going to select everything. We're going to zero velocity at all. And now they're all going to start going back at each other again. And now we have right here, we have an Earth that is 33 Earths. Okay, and we have... Oh, this one's only three. So only the biggest ones are left over now. Oh, let's do this again. Jeez, what is going on? Does it have to be paused when I do this? There we go. Zero velocity at all again. And we have the last few collisions here. And technically, whatever's left over should be exactly 100 Earths in mass. Now, it should be... There's a bit of gas and stuff that we've just lost, though, and we're probably not going to get that back at any time. Uh, it's floated out too far, and gravity isn't going to really pull it in. But, eh, we're going to say get an I just auto-orbited it all. Oops, zero velocity is what I meant to do. And now those two have collided, so this one is sitting at 54 Earths, so that's about half. I think this one here is the other half we're looking for. And we're just going to select all of these. And we're going to zero velocity them once again. And I think this is it. 
this is going to be very close to 100 or it's right after it sucks in these little ones and zero velocity it again it's sucking in pretty much all of the gas now so we may actually get exactly 100 left over um it may take a little bit though because these these are, these are pretty far out over there what are we at right now we are at 70 okay so we are not we aren't even close <laughs> okay we're over halfway there but I think this earth here yep that brings it to 85 this one right here brings it to 90 and that means that whatever's left here that's it that is the last however many earths of mass and let's wait for them to collide our main earth over here does not seem to actually be getting closer I think that's it I think we may have actually lost math um, not math <laughs> mass in the um here we go right here what is this 63 moons well it's not much but it could be part of what we're missing there's something there too so let's just select all of these in zero velocity then oh, where'd the other one go Here we go this guy needs to be zero velocity too so it looks like we actually are missing some mass um Either through rounding errors, just things that went off really far, maybe. Um, if I zoom out all the way. No, those three things are all that's left, and those are not going to add up to 100. So we have a little bit of an inaccuracy, but it's not that bad. Well, we're missing one-tenth of the mass. Uh, let me quickly shut off my Steam messages so that I don't get spammed. Do. Do. <laughs> do oh jeez I can't do that from here uh I can do that from here though offline there we go okay let's check out the next suggestion new add and we are going to add well, let's see Oh, all of the gas giants against each other, which should be pretty easy, because they're all in a row right here, and we'll just throw in Planet 9, even though it's theoretical, because why not? It, it, the Planet 9 wants to be included, <laughs> and we're going to let them collide. So we're going to shut off all of those labels and trails, slow things down a bit, and the first collision is going to be between Jupiter and Saturn. Now this is going to be a very warm collision. It may actually be enough to... Uh... Vaporize whatever is left, but maybe not... Maybe not that hot. Um, what do we have over here? Nothing else really going on yet. So Jupiter's temperature is rising rapidly. We're about 3,000 degrees. Make that 4,000. Yep, we're resting at 4,000 degrees. You can see the nice explosion coming off there. And those giant clouds of dust are going to actually run into planet 9 and Neptune over here. Jupiter is flying away because of the impact so we're just going to zero velocity Jupiter very quickly now Jupiter is going to crash into Uranus oh boy the common section okay and now we have planet 9 and hitting Neptune and they are absolutely annihilating each other here it goes and we have a nice little explosion over here okay sorry about the small uh, pause there um and we have 
that was Neptune. Yep, Neptune is now being peppered by all of the hot gases that are coming out of that last explosion. But it looks like Jupiter is going to uh, kind of eat Neptune now at a very high speed. Jeez, Jupiter is not going into this lightly. It is going full in for this collision. And we have... Ooh, <laughs> quite the explosion coming out of there. And Jupiter has eaten Neptune, and there's only one planet left. <sighs> the final survivor, Jupiter versus Uranus. That is a, uh, well, let's see who wins. Um, giant hot ball of gas or slightly warm blue ball of gas which is much smaller and the heat from this is actually causing Uranus to uh, glow and it's now hit Jupiter and we've had a little bit of a fireworks display and Jupiter is now a little bit bigger than it used to be actually a lot smaller than it used to be <laughs> we must have lost a lot of gas outside um oh geez yeah we lost a lot of mass how did we lose that much? Okay then, well, um, that's it for that suggestion. Okay, so we have <clears throat> Jupiter pretty much dead, so let's go on to the last simulation. So our last suggestion we have done many times, but let's do it again. And it is Moon versus Earth. Now, I'm pretty sure the reason they're asking for it again is because of the new crater update, and we will see how much of a crater this leaves behind, and I think it'll be pretty big. So, we are going to allow the Moon to crash into the Earth at a very high speed, and we will see what happens. And it looks like America is going to be actually Africa. I was not accounting for the acceleration. Also, this is a pretty great picture right here. Man, I should make a background out of that. That's just great, you know. If you were if you were here, or you know what, we can actually go to the ground view. If you were here and just looking up and you're like, saw that, you know. I would be pretty scared, honestly. Just slightly. You know, pretty slightly scared. Here we go. Collision. The shockwave going out, about to cross half the world. Little pieces of debris flying everywhere. And if we speed this up a bit more, we are going to get the crater. So, what is this going to be? We are going to have a... I'm going to just say it's going to be a really big crater. But, it's going to be where Africa used to be. Uh, yeah... I can definitely see it. Um, it didn't actually remove the continents, but we went through that last time, the problems in the new crater system. But let's see what we can do to uh, see the effects. We're going to put the water back. And the water isn't even affected by it either. I think, it, yeah, it just looks kind of, oh, it was affected. The water was affected by it. Okay, so they fixed that. Okay, good. That's very good. So we can't actually see that Africa is kind of removed. Okay, and that's pretty cool. I think I'll do another video on um, craters again later because it looks like the problems from before were fixed. Yeah, the water is filling in the holes. Cool. So I will see you all next time. If you like this video and want more, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.